Hey everybody, and welcome back to Delta T play some more Slay the Spire. Last time we made the biggest play I've ever made in my entire, I guess, Slay the Spire career. I was mind blown by how good that play was. At least that was just my opinion and my uh, impression of what I did. It was amazing. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> and I hope you guys were proud of me too. But anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and start as a silent. Uh... We're close to an unlike. I like the silent more than the ironclad, so that's always good to see. Also, I've been like I don't want to say I've been watching people, but I have been watching people, seeing how they how how they play and how they think. Kind of helped me give a heads up on how I should play, because obviously you know. Well, let's just say that someone I was watching literally won his first run ever, and I'm just like, how is that possible? I didn't watch it, but I heard it, and I was like, wow, that's that's I'm mad because <laughs> I'm bad. Uh, so I think. A boss relic, huh? Do you want the extra two cards? I like the I like this a lot. Hmm. Obtain a random common relic. I'm gonna go for the relic. Molten egg, not bad. I can just rent, rent it. just start with an upgrade. Always neutralize, I think. This is a good upgrade. I'm really curious what I would have gotten if I had gone with the uh relic. At the same time, I'm scared. So one thing. One thing I think is supposed to be really good is literally just going to these question marks. I think there's supposed to be, you know, a higher chance of uh, getting good stuff. So I guess we're going to go with this path. We're going to try to get more question marks this time and see if that actually does help us out at all. Hmm. Alright, not a bad start. We'll apply weak. Strike. Strike. Uh, kind of a crappy start, I guess. If one more strike would have been nice, but it's fine. We should have a lot of strike strikes next turn. Unfortunately, we will be taking some damage, maybe. Because we only have one defend. Ah, oh, we're fine. Strike, strike, uh, defend, I guess. Strike, strike, defend. I will try to be a little bit slower and be more methodical with the way that I make my plays, I guess. I'm going to try to, at least. But we'll see how that goes. I mean, I was a little bit slower last time. I did take my time, especially, like, in dire situations. Hmm. Defend, defend, strike. 6, 19. This is actually tough. Uh, actually, I think defend, defend, strike is a good idea here because we will be getting neutralized probably next turn, and th that with along two strikes should be enough to kill the guy, this uh, cultist person. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Exactly the card I wanted. <laughs> uh, so the best play is survivor, defend, defend, strike, take no damage. We should survive next turn with our neutralize and maybe just we need two strikes. And one neutralize. Or three strikes. Alright, we got it. We're in there. Alright, good, good start, good start, good start. So now, I know I've been saying I've been like, I'm going to try this st strategy when it comes to duck building. This time I'm just going to see whatever falls into my lap and see if I can make something goes good. We'll see how it goes. Hmm. So, dagger throw I just think is really good in general. It's a better version of strike and it gives you a card draw, which I really like. Sucker Punch, I think it's pretty good. It applies weak, but I don't think I need it because I already have Neutralize. So I'm just gonna go for Dagger Throw. Dodge and Roll, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's just not, not for me, I don't think. Question mark. Let's see what we got over here. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to an ancient power. I can either gain 100 gold or become cursed. It costs, I think, 75 gold to get rid of one. Uh, let's look at the map. To get rid of one card, map, excuse me. Let's get rid of one card, so at the shop, but we're not going to a shop for a long time. I don't necessarily want to take the damage. We're just going to go straight up and pray. Play, take the safe route. Alright, so one thing I do like about going this path is we will fight an elite, which I, I am looking forward to. Hopefully we'll do well. But I think in general I've just gotten better. Better, better, better. Hmm, we will take one damage here, unfortunately. I will start off with my dagger throw to get the card draw first. Yeah, see, that, that's not how I would have liked to have gone started. That's fine. I would like to have gotten, like, Survivor or something, but instead we're going to take one damage. But that's fine. Next turn, we'll have Neutralize and something else. Probably Survivor. Yeah, because, yeah, that's the card I was hoping for, actually. Alright, so now I'm, now I'm good. Might as well just play Defend. And Defend. He's going to armor up this turn, so I don't think we can kill him next turn. I don't believe we can. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter, I guess, because he does have low damage dealing right now. Get rid of one of our defense. Strike. 
defend. So we should be able to kill him next turn, hopefully. Unless something, barring something tragic from happening. But yeah, I, th I, I think watching how people play this game kind of like, you know, helped me in a way get better, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. I say hopefully a lot. Was that not a... Uh... I thought I played Dagger Throw for some reason. I guess not. Defend. It's because I can. Gonna buff himself. That's fine. I think he's dead this turn. He should be dead, hopefully. Yeah, neutralize. Strike. Strike. Probably could have done a Dagger Throw just to, you know, insult. Add some salt to the wounds, but I guess not. Uh, Quick Slash. I like it a lot. It's basically... You know what? No. I don't think... Quick Slash is going to be a thing for us now. Just because Dagger Throw is basically a better version of, of Quick Slash and I don't think I need it. Brittle with Holes is 15 damage. Flying Knees. I'm going to go Brittle with Holes. It's going to be bad against people who have Thorns and stuff like that, but we don't really seem to fight that many people with Thorns. I don't think. Let's go back and get some more events. Let's see what happens here. Uh, we're gonna, we can get some goop. I'm okay with losing uh, 11 HP. We get the gold, which, uh, you know, is gonna be very useful when we don't get to a shop, because there's no shop in arm's reach, apparently, because I'm an idiot. I didn't consider that. You know what? Uh, I will get the gold. I'm, I think I'm banking a lot on gold right now, even though I shouldn't be, but it is what it is. Let's try to upgrade a card. Probably riddle with holes. That's 20 damage, huh? I think that's the best option we have there. I feel confident enough that we're going to be fighting the Elite and beating the Elite. Hopefully, as long as it's not that one character. Those three pillars. Okay, this guy, I feel like I'm... Hmm. Don't know how I feel about this guy. So we're going to start off by poisoning him, because I don't think... this is. I think this is going to be kind of tough, is what I'm going to say. Strike, strike. Okay. The faster we kill him, the better. Because he's going to get stronger every time we play a skill card. And we have a lot of skill. Z. Also don't want to play this card, so let's go ahead and play Survivor. Unfortunately, we'll take a little bit more damage this turn because of it. Hmm. I think we've lost. <laughs> Riddle with holes. Fantastic. So now, is it worth 23, huh? Neutralizes there. I'm trying to think, is it worth playing two skill cards to block? He's going to get, what? Two strength, so he's going to do an extra four damage. So 16. I think I have to play two defense. I don't have enough energy. I did not look at my energy. Okay, not a good start so far in this run. I think I got my head back in the game. I did take a small break. Let's see. He's dead. We've got it. Alright, so we took more damage than we needed to, but we got him at the end. That's fine. That poison thing actually did save us, I think. Okay, so upon pickup, uh, at the start of each combat, this card will start in your hand. So I think the best card to start off with... I feel like Noxious was just the best card. I like this card a lot. If we can upgrade it better. Bottle Flame, so we gotta pick a card. Riddle with Holes is actually the best card to start off with, I think. Good, good, like, first play card. We can it's a free remove, or it's free upgrade. That's upgrade. You can't go back. Noxious fumes, three poison. Maybe, on the other hand, maybe just gotten rid of the curse might have been better. We'll see. <laughs> Anchor startage. You know what? Not bad. Ten block at the start of the turn. We're gonna go this way, this way. Okay, I'm happy with that. I also feel like I'm playing a lot faster now. I don't know why. Alright, Riddle with Holes will definitely kill someone, probably. 20 damage. This guy will die. I think they'll both die, so let's, let's uh, try it out. Yeah, okay, they, they, they just died. Just straight up dead. And then that, that was actually pretty easy. We will be weakened, but it doesn't matter. As long as we get another, like, two attacks, we're, we'll be fine. Noxious Fume, yeah, perfectly fine. Uh, I don't care. Get rid of the block. It doesn't matter. They're dead. Cool. You know what? I feel like I'm learning. 
I like the idea of alchemize. But it's a random potion, and I'm not sure. it's probably one of these, right? Yeah, so I don't think it's going to be that good. I, I could see it being good, but I'd rather just get infinite blades. Let's see if we can do like a shiv build, if possible. We got a lot of gold. Let's do it. So, backstab innate. Dude. First turn? We do 31 damage with this. First turn. I like that. Let's look at, uh, what's this? Ah, uh, that's okay. Mango's pretty good. Sorry, of each combat, discard any number of cards, then draw that many. Okay. I like backstab, so we're gonna get backstab. I like enlightenment. Let's look at our cards real quick. How many higher, high, no, we don't, we only have like one card that's, uh, high cost, so that's, that's worthless at this point. I like backstab, so we're gonna take backstab. I want to be safe. Can I get both these? I cannot, unfortunately. I want dexterity. But is it that good? Is it that good? Is it that good? I don't know. Is mango that good? I don't know. I mean, we basically start off with an extra 10 HP at the start, kind of. Is Mummified Hand that good? I don't know. We're gonna do this. Do this. Get rid of Doubt. Confirm. We can still get Dexterity, if we want to. Or Slice. Slice is not bad. Slice is basically a free card. I like- I like footwork. I'm sorry. It might be a bad decision, but I like it a lot. Probably could have done something better than that. Probably the this mango was not that great. Let's look at the map again. I wasn't paying attention. Two combats and then a resting point. I think we're, we can upgrade a card probably without much issue. I like the idea of innate infinite blades. And let's get going. Alright, this goopy man is annoying as hell, if I know. So, unfortunately he's going to do a lot of damage this turn. Actually, it doesn't matter. Because, let's see, I can do a lot of damage. Once he gets to like 32 HP, which I think we can do. As a matter of fact, we can do backstab, riddle with holes. Let's do it. <laughs> of course, he didn't get down to the 30, the, the, the breaking point. But the, the good news is, he's not at the breaking point, so we only have to deal with... A weaker version of him soon. So let's go with Noxious Fumes Strike Strike, I think. Because he's going to break up. Yeah. Now he has to, we have to face two enemies with 21 HP, which isn't that bad. Better than whatever it was earlier. Now this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Poison, poison. I forgot I, I played the Noxious Fumes card. Let's weaken this guy a bit. Uh, then probably just two defend cards. Okay. Not a bad start. I... I think the first play we made, which was just playing, uh, what's it called? Just just playing the Riddle with Holes and Backstab was actually not a bad play. I think it was a pretty decent play, if I do say so myself. So let's gain block, just so we can do that. Um, can we kill this guy? He was 5 HP, this- yeah, we can kill him. I'm okay with that. Now we just have to worry about this guy, and this guy should not be a problem, I don't think. Uh, yep. He's dead. I can neutralize to finish it off and do, you know, I guess save some time, but what's the point, honestly? I feel like I'm starting to get better and like... I like the idea of Red with Holes. Having a second one of those is really nice. It's 20, 15 damage at this point. Is the four poison worth it? I don't know. Maybe. We don't have enough action points to, you know, say that this is a good choice. So I'm not gonna go for that, unfortunately. This might be good later on, so... This might be also good later on, but I feel like this is just better now than this. We're gonna go with that. I feel like we're getting a bit too much in, uh... Our deck is growing a bit too much, I, th I would say. 
Like, we can almost kill this guy first turn. Actually, we might be able to. Uh, let's see. 20 plus 12 is 32. No, not 100% not, not yet. So I, what I will do... I don't need to defend, actually. Our first play is so strong. If we just had more action points, I'd be happier. Because then I could use innate blade along with that. The innate uh, shiv blade thing. Whatever that's called, 100%. I don't exactly know the, the exact name of it. There you go. That was actually really simple. Terror. Blade Dance. I don't think Blade Dance is that good, but it is a free 8 damage. So. Or Bane, which is 14 damage. Or 99 Vulnerable. Exhaust. It, it can be turned into a free Exhaust, I know that. Or a free uh, card. Huh. I think Terra just might be better. Hmm. Yeah. If we can upgrade it, that'd be fantastic. Now, I don't think I want to... rest here. I feel like we have enough HP. We're gonna, probably going to play our Strength Potion right away if we can. Does this guy do any damage at the start? He does not, which is fantastic. So, drink our potion. Red Wolf Holes. Um, he does not have his thing up. So I think it's safe to do backstab right now. Which was actually a waste, because... Yeah, that was actually a waste. Of my backstab. Because now he's officially in his defensive mode and I can't attack him. Hmm, that was actually a little bit of a waste. That's fine, we're gonna play Footwork. Terrorize. I don't want to attack, so we're just gonna defend twice. So is this just like... I wish I knew when he was gonna break out. I think it's when he does a two attack. This is when he's gonna break out, I believe. We don't have a lot of defend here, unfortunately. We will neutralize, though. We will not attack again this turn, though. As much as I would like to, we're not going to. We will take a little bit of damage. 12... Uh, 8 damage. Now this is where it gets more interesting. Hmm. Noxious Fumes, defend, defend. That does 12 damage. Actually, we won't take any damage, so let's go with defend, defend. Alright, I'm not sure how I feel about this deck anymore. When faced against this monstrosity. Neutralize is good, I guess. All by Riddle with Holes. Let's do a Dagger Throw first. Maybe there's a better card. Yeah, Strike is definitely a better card. Let's Riddle with Holes. Okay. Now this is where we have to be defensive, I guess. Yeah, let's play Survivor. You know what? Let's get rid of one Strike card. Att uh, strike. Defend, then strike. That way we still have a little bit of, We do, do some damage while still... Uh, maintaining our armor. A little the guy down even further that way. Alright, so this is a good time to play Riddle with Blades. Or, not Riddle with Blades, but uh... The card we just played. I don't know the name of the cards yet, okay? Big deal. Two damage here is not that bad. We should be able to kill him soon, hopefully. Free Shiv. This card, neutralize, apply weak. Hmm. Five damage, that's 25 damage. Let's do that real quick. He transformed, fantastic. Okay. Might have been better to play the first attack first, but that's okay. Uh, it doesn't matter what I play next, we're just gonna turn. Save our cards for no reason whatsoever. We might be able to just kill him this turn now. Depending on our defense, defensive cards. He has... He loses 11 HP, so I need to do 11 damage. Which is not gonna happen, so... Actually, I can. Boom. He's dead. And our turn, he's dead. Right? That's how the poison works? It does work. Alright. Good. Good, like, basically first floor. Was this the boss already? I don't even remember. This turn, your next skill is played twice. Let's look at what skills we have. 
We have powers, not skills. We don't really have that many good skills, so let's ignore that. Next turn, draw X cards and gain X. Exhaust. I don't really like... I like the idea of Doppelganger, but I don't think I actually like it like it. I think I'll go with Phantasmal Killer just because it's... Slightly better? I don't know. Open the chest. That sounds like BS. You gain energy at the start of each turn, but you can no longer see the enemy intense. That's horrible. Obtain one potion, gain 30 gold, raise your max HP by 5, and obtain one card. I like that. So every time we get to a campfire, we just, we just heal 8 HP at this point. I'm gonna go for Tiny House. I guess it's a one common card, huh? I guess I'll go for poison even though I don't really want it. We haven't we don't we don't have like the poison synergy. Alright, the city. This is probably like my record time getting here. So let's look at the question marks. So there's a lot of them over here. M more over here. But no campfires. The left side has a lot of question marks. This might be the best option. And yet, oh my god, you have the four gold campfires here. Over here you have a shop. This is like a bad floor plan, it feels like. Alright, we're going like, we're going this way then. Uh, hope for the best. This guy has plated armor. It's plated armor and metallicized are completely different things. Neutralize this guy right away. Hmm. I won't take any damage, so do, do I want to backstab or do I want to infinite blades? I think I want to riddle with holes. Actually, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's think about this. Yeah, okay, we want to do this because then that way we will take away two of his plated armors there, I believe. Alright, we took away four. Because I can't do math, apparently. Then we'll infinite blades, and then we have free basic uh, shiv every time we play a card. Every At the start of every turn. Shiv, okay. Terror is good. Footwork is good. Let's play footwork first. Let's play... Defend. Vulnerable. Shiv. Deadly poison. For some reason I thought I could play riddled holes with my action points. See? I'm bad. Fortunately this is not going to stack. It will probably run out eventually. And so first of all Shiv. Followed by a dagger throw. Probably going to defend twice here. Hmm. I have Strength Potion, Elixir. I don't care about Elixir at all. Or damage, and we lose... Oh, our Dexterity is basically gone at this point. So... Noxious Fumes. Shiv. I'll attack myself. Defend, defend. I think that's the play. Although I do like the other cards. There, this is like the more safer point. And we don't really have a good way of healing ourselves, it feels like. So it feels like that's not... I, I shouldn't focus on healing, I guess. Defend. Defend. Shiv. Strike. And now our poison is building, which is nice. At least it should build, right? Shiv, neutralize. I like neutralize here. Uh, defend is 8. Play this first. Looks like he will do some damage to us. 15 damage, huh? Or I can do... 10 plus 6, 16. This might be a better play, I'm not sure, we'll see. Probably not, but we'll... <laughs> you know what, that might have been the better play. Might have, not sure. We'll see, I, I mean... He's dead. Backstab him. Just exhaust the card for no damn reason. I like backflip a lot. If I wish it was just a zero, if it was a zero cost card, it'd be amazing. But it's unfortunately not. We don't want to take a lot of damage here. We do have poison cards, so that would be easy to take out this guy with. It'll be easy to take this guy out with no poison cards. So, actually, we're with holes. Backstab. He's low on armor already. 
a big damage first turn. Hmm. Defend, defend, strike. I don't like this guy. This guy's annoying. I feel like our defense is just not that good right now. Oh. Wow, that sucks. Poison. Noxious fumes. We're just gonna take damage here. Yep, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that. We're taking damage here. Yeah, I heard a little bit. Ugh. this is bad. Survivor's gonna help us this turn at least. We don't need to defend now. Strike. Luckily, the poison will take care of him. Hopefully, if he would be poisoned soonish, because armor does. I think poison goes through armor. Oh, you terror. Oh, I forgot about that. Damn it. So, defend. Riddle with holes. Terrorize him first. I think I have to do dagger throw first. Yeah, okay. That was. I think that was the better play. 20 HP, huh? Or I can just block 5. Defend. Alright, this is not good. I am not liking this guy. He's gonna be poisoned this time, I believe. Yes. Neutralize him so he does less damage too, please. Infinite blades. Defend. Defend. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Now he's taking damage. Alright. I think we want to focus on defense at this point. Neutralize again. Defend. Should because I can. Defend. Unfortunately, we will be taking 4 damage again. But it's okay, the poison will kill him next turn. We don't, we don't have to do anything this turn. Although we did take a lot of damage. I don't like this at all. These, like, I need to get rid of these strikes, man. I have too many cards in my hand. In my deck, I believe. I think that's just way too many. <laughs> Yet I grab another attack card because I, I want it. Because I'm... I don't know. Alright, you come across an array building with a pe which appears abandoned. A plaque that has been torn free from the walls is on the floor. It reads the library. Inside, you find countless rolls of scrolls, manuscripts, and books. You pick one and cozy yourself into a chair for some quiet time. I will choose one of the cards to add to my deck. That looks really good. Master uh, Bouncing Flask. I always heard that this is a really good card. Distraction. Outmaneuver. Eviscerate sounds interesting. I'm gonna go for Bouncing Flask. It's more poison. Even though I don't necessarily have the best poison build. Now this is where it gets kind of scary. I want to go this way. Chop. Might be better to go this way. I think I've lost. I feel like this- I feel like this just layout, this floor was just bad. Difficult to take- to deal with. This guy that gives you the Noxious Psy guy? I think I want this guy to do his ability on me. That'd be really nice actually. So, infinite blades. No. Let's do Riddle with Holes. Infinite blades. Because that will at least always have a shift to play. Or I can do Noxious Fumes. I need more action points, man. And I'm going Noxious. I feel like Noxious Fumes are is way better than Infinite Blades at this point. See, I feel like my deck, the issue that my deck has right now is I have too many different strategies I want to do. That's what it feels like to me, at least. Defend, defend. Will kind of protect me. Also, one thing I've realized is that this this card, Anchor, does not help out very much at all. I was hoping it'd be better than it actually is. I, when I first heard it, I was like, oh, this sounds sick. It's actually awful. In five block, draw two cards. It's a free defend, basically. Defend again or quick slash? Let's quick slash and then we can always defend afterwards. Need to? Yep. That's fine. I think we'll get this done. Well, unfortunately, we are vulnerable now. Which is, you know, obviously more damage. Bouncing Flask is really good. Survivor is really good. So free Bouncing Flask. I guess I want to play Survivor here. Let's play Terror, I guess. 
Followed by a survivor. Get rid of our deadly poison. And our turn. We will take four damage though. But he should be dead soonish. This vulnerability is really hurting us. Deadly poison. Neutralize. Uh, strike will kill, I believe. Yep, we won. I didn't do the math there because I was fairly confident that we would be fine. Dexterity potion is very, very big for us, actually. I do want Omnimover maneuver plus. I feel that this card is going to help us out a lot. So now, do I want to heal? Or do I want two random instances? With no chance to heal for a long time. Let's go with random instances. Hope, hope RNG saves us. As you make your way through the large buildings, you come across a long, narrow bridge and spot knights on either side, facing one another. You approach. Halt! A knight forcefully gestures you to stop with his giant lens. Today is a day I must settle the score with the murder of my beloved pet, Noodles. Until then, you may not pass. Fellow witness, why don't you bet on who you think will emerge victorious? Uh, I'm gonna bet on the murderer. I'd rather be the- I'd rather have the safe bet. Alright, he's, he's- he's- uh, I can't believe you're betting into Noodles. Furious, he clamps down his helmet and rushes towards his nemesis. Clash, clang, pow. The owner died. You win the bet. I grab my winnings and leave. Why can't I just take the rest of the money from him? Why would it- why- I guess he just didn't have the money to pay me back, I guess? I don't know. You, I need you. What can we do here? When obtained, brew five random potions. Nope. Runic de deco debt. If your HP is full, gain blank. No. This is all awful. I want to get rid of all the strikes I have. Confirm. Unfortunately, that's the only way we can get rid of. Everything else just seems awful. Everything else just seems bad. Maybe infinite blades, but at the same time, it's just like we don't have that build going for us. Hmm. Draw three. We can't even buy through all three cards. I think we're just gonna leave it where we're at. We're not obviously not gonna fight the elite. We're not gonna beat the elite. All right, this is where we lose. Ah. <sighs> What's better? I think I, I think saying the backstab for last is better. See, like, this anchor just sucks. It doesn't do anything the first turn, because everyone usually plays like a buff or something. Us usually. I mean, sometimes they do attack, but it's very rare. I feel like they do. Noxious Fumes is really good. Shiv this guy. Now I can take... No damage. I do this, I believe, right? I will take some damage. 14 out of 18. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Hopefully, Noxious Fumes will help us in the long run. Hopefully. Unfortunately, now they're going to start doing more damage. I feel okay. So if we lose this fight, which I feel like we are going to, is why did we lose? Well, honestly, I think it's just because uh, not only did we suck, our deck was all over the place. I feel like I didn't take enough time to construct my deck the way I should have constructed it, you know? Hey, we might survive. Might. Maybe I'm just over, you know, over hyping uh, Noxious Fumes here. Because I think Noxious Fumes is going to save us, but at the same time it doesn't seem like it is going to because these guys do a lot of damage. Neutralize this guy because I'm probably going to kill him last. Shift this guy. Poison this guy further. Dagger throw, I guess. He's dead. You're the Phantasmal Killer. Terrorize this guy, because he's the next one to matter, I guess. And block. Dead. Survive, survive. I think we've lost. We can only take one more attack. One more full, undefended attack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is not gonna happen. Defend gives us nine block, huh? Nine plus nine. We have no we have no plays here. We literally have no plays. Lose seven HP, huh? Twenty uh, we lost. Good luck. 
Who gets poisoned the most? Yeah, we lost. Well, that sucks. That was a lot quicker than I would have liked. Again, I think the reason why we lost like this... Like this, yes, like this, not like this, like this... Is because of, uh, well... Just poor deck management. I think we got too many cards too quick. That didn't really synergize, like... Maybe backstab... Wasn't the play. Maybe Riddle with Holes backstab always starting off was not the play. There was no buildup for my deck. And it feels like this combo, although it sounds really, 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 really good... It might not have been the play. It might have been the play more to focus on, like, Noxious Fumes and Infinite Blades. So that way we always have shivs and stuff. But also look at this, we have so many cards. And these strikes and defense weren't helping us at all. Good news, we did get some unlocks and we'll see what we unlocked. Hopefully some new, better relics that will help us out in the long run. Duvu Ball, Duvu Doll. Rage Curse in your deck. Start each combat with one additional strength. That sounds really good for, what's this called? The Ironclad. Smiling Mask. The Merchant's Card Removal Service now always costs 50 gold. That is really good. And Tiny Chest. Gain 30 gold. You're 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. That's actually really good too. But again, I feel like we just built our deck the wrong way. We could have done a lot better, I feel. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Slay the Spire. Again, if you have any tips or any idea of what I can do to be better, always appreciated. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Deuces!